Beach erosion can be harmful for ecosystems by changing habitat conditions for such local fauna as seals, sea turtles, birds, and fish. After the end of the tiki craze, bar owners toss their Polynesian-inspired decor into the Gulf, where their kitschy charm is completely lost on native marine life. record for number of revocable commercial fishing offenses.
sharks are known to make clever use of their hydronautical appendages. Coastal communities face ecological collapse and ruin. It's still reassuring to know you can get in your 18 holes. Local resorts have responded to sea level rise by importing 285,000 tons of sand and counting. Port Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. to take down alpha predators is a skill many shark hunters hone while in prison. The multi-million dollar menace, Mama Maybell. She's arrived. Hey, who's in the motherboard bounty? Follow me.
shark's reckless behavior only further incenses for closest to citizens. discovered that their Stonehenge replica was astronomically misaligned, enraged Port Clovians threw it in the ocean. Clever Predator shows a well-developed talent for finding food. The natural food of bull sharks is anything they can cram in their gaping maw. While fostering a balanced ecosystem is a complex and multifaceted process, what harm could arise from killing a bunch of seals? The spectacle of a rampaging shark never fails to attract a guest.
629 days, Prosperity Sands ain't had no shark attacks. You can thank OP for that. Prosperity Sands sure ain't. This is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. Concentrations of metals and hydrocarbons in the water show just how much the Gulf has progressed since Amerigo Vespucci first arrived here in 1497. Sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. This recreation of the Titanic was so accurate, 1,500 people died during its maiden voyage. Hunger is a driving force for the bull shark. Thanks to powerful risk assessment software, we now know that this was a wildly idiotic place to build vacation homes. risk of drowning while surfing, but at least you'll leave behind a cool-looking skeleton.
for the same reason we all do, to feel complete. They boated painted sails. But, you know, so do a lot of other New York Cuyones. that the shark returns to the water. Don't know nothing about no raves. Are you throwing a fiddle door on the beach at night? You just asking to get bit. shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet.
is now a mega shark, often referred to by scientists as the 64 ounce gas station soda of large marine predators. apprehension methods having failed, authorities send out a motley collection of untrained, unlicensed individuals to do their work for them. Town got that mango butter facial scrub I like. Another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. human sacrifices, the eldritch gods of yore are seldom enthused about being summoned to Port Clovis.
Emperor of the Deep, the Great White. is often referred to as the king of the ocean, which gives it a skewed understanding of the role of a monarch in modern society. What's in the barrels? Fish food. Pete, whatever this is, can I ask you not to do it? I'm gonna get that shark. One way or another. It's, it's just that this is unnecessarily destructive. I mean, it's just one shark. There's a whole ecosystem. One shark? That killed my boy. Pete, look, I, I understand. Wanna keep tugging on this knot, you? having gone too far with her pranks and hijinks, is now the subject of a county-wide shark hunt.
shark's liver oil can now be extracted for use in dietary supplements and hemorrhoid medications. Prosperity Sands reminds us that sometimes the construction of second and third homes supersedes considerations like loss of species diversity. Five hundred million years of terrestrial evolution reaches its apex with Prosperity Sands' spacious flow-through floor plans. Spades are also known as ocean cobblers, pot covers, sea donkeys, jackasses, and other names they find incredibly But Clovis's communal guard against shark attacks came after experimentation with animal sacrifices to appease the shark god. I like this beach here, bro. Got a lot of nice looking wealthy women. There's a court order that says I can't be within 200 feet of the ocean. See a lot of things in the knockers.
hours of training and eight dollars to become a licensed shark hunter. No very bother with this formality. compensations and estate settlements will be indefinitely delayed if this body is not caviar key features painted sails a luxury five-star resort built over the remains of tunamacha a pre-columbian city that was once host to the most advanced civilization in ancient america As the terrain of the Gulf Coast is relatively flat, even a small rise in sea levels could trigger an immense loss of land. I'm sure the shark's dead. It seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty bone. enjoy playing with toys, but not half as much as a day-old seal carcass. Gourmand, the bull shark will eat just about anything.
Even after the creation of a killer clown task force, clown-related homicide still remains a problem in Port Clovis. This instantized protein makes a great between-meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass. After losing to King Crush in the 2011 Monster Mania semifinals, Big Finn stepped away from the limelight for a simpler, more natural way of life. The bull retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection.